Welcome dear learners to the new session on web technology. Today we will be discussing about HTML. The learning objectives of this session are we will be covering HTML basics with some example. HTML basic example we will cover. Then we will be covering HTML generations. What are the basic benefits of HTML? its advantages and usages. We will be covering HTML page structure and HTML DOM DOM. It is document object model. So the question arises what is HTML? HTML is an acronym for hypertext markup language which is used to create web pages and web applications. Let's look at hypertext markup language and the meaning of web pages. HTML starts with a tag that is doc type. So here we have this uh, exclamation mark, then doc type, then tag close, then HTML tag, then HTML head, title. Here we have defined as first page. The title is closed, then head is closed. Now we are defining the body. So body tag is used. In this we have heading first heading. It is depicted or it is represented by h1. Then we will be writing the name of the heading. It can be customized. You can write any name of the heading. So here we have written first heading. Then h1 tag closed. Then first paragraph. It will be under the P tag that is paragraph tag. So uh, we are having angular brackets P P for first paragraph tag then close then first paragraph then this tag is closed and uh, in HTML we close any tag by putting the forward slash and then that uh, particular tag name. So here we have angular bracket then forward slash then P and close the tag. Now this body which was initialized it is closed by here the closing of the body tag. Then last HTML tag is closed. So this figure or this example shows a simple HTML structure. In this way we can have so many HTML simple programs. Now we are discussing HTML generations. So how the HTML got evolved we will be covering in this. HTML 1.0. The first version of HTML was its 1.0 version, a, uh, a bare bones version of the HTML language. It is released in 1991. HTML 2.0. This was the next version released in 1995 and was the default language version for website design. In this HTML 2.0, right from 1995 the default language version was selected for the website design and HTML 2.0 has a landmark over this achievement. HTML 2.0 can support additional features such as form based file uploads, text boxes, radio buttons and other form elements. So uh, by the start of HTML 2.0 uh, the user have external support for the form based file uploads and text boxes are also introduced in HTML 2.0. Then radio buttons are also introduced in this and other form elements. Now HTML 3.2. 3.2 version was released by the W3C consortium in early 1997. This version was able to create tables and support additional options for form elements. We can design forms and form elements are introduced in this particular version. It can also support web pages with complex formulas. Complex formulas are also introduced in this particular version. By January 1997 it was the official standard for all browsers. So the basic standards for all browsers was considered in January 1997 as this particular HTML 3.2. 
it is particularly supported by most browser today so we are using so many browsers and it is supported by most of the browsers in today's scenarios also then html generations uh, evolve as html 4.01 it is released in december 1999 html 4.01 is a very stable version of the html language so it is considered to be the most a stable version of the HTML family. This version is current official standard and provides additional support for style sheets, CSS. CSS uh, is uh, abbreviated as cascading style sheets and it is used as scripting capabilities for various multimedia elements. So the basic advantage of HTML 4.01 it is that it provides additional support for style sheets. The style sheets concepts arises or introduced by this very version, HTML 4.01. And it is also having the scripting capabilities, uh, which is uh, used for multimedia elements. So the basic advantages of this 4.01 version of HTML is that the scripting capabilities for the multimedia elements and the cascading style sheets introduction in this uh, HTML family. Now HTML5. HTML5 is the latest version of the hypertext markup language, the latest version. Uh, our first draft of this version was published in January 2008. So January 2008 came up with the latest version of HTML that is HTML5. The HTML5 version is being developed by two major organizations, W3C, WWW, that is World Wide Web Consortium and WhatWG, Web Hypertext Application Technology Working Group. So what is WHATWG? That is Web Hypertext Application Technology Working Group and is still under development. So HTML is developed by the joint uh, hands of W3C and WhatWG, WHATWG. Here are some benefits of HTML. HTML is widely used markup language that helps build the structure of a website is easy to remember. So HTML's uh, basic benefit is that it is widely used markup language and that build the structure of a website in a very, very, very easy manner. Second benefit is all browsers support HTML language as it is the most basic language, most lightweighted language and very good language. So HTML is lightweight and loads fast. So what do you mean by the term lightweight? Lightweight means which uh, is having the capability to load fast and which is very responsive in nature and gives the loading and linking very fast. So HTML is a very lightweight language and it lo its loading is very, very fast. So this is the basic benefits of HTML. Now moving ahead for the benefits of HTML, the application caching feature allows you to store large files. So here we have the capability to uh, for the storage of large files and application caching is uh, enabled in this. It is included by default with all windows, no need to buy extra software. So it is a very good advantage that we need not buy any extra software and it is included by default with all the windows. Loose syntax, but too flexible to conform to standards. It is having loose syntax and it is it makes it very easy to use. But in the same uh, at the same time, it is very, very flexible to conform to the standards. Uh, though it is very very loose in nature in uh, in the terms of syntax but it is very flexible to conform to the standards it meets this all the standards very uh, nicely html can be easily edited as plain text so the basic benefit is that html is uh, easily edited as a plain text so the user uh, user uh, find it very easy to uh, edit programs, to write new programs and uh, because it is uh, editable as a plain text. Easy to integrate with other languages such as JavaScript and CSS. 
CSS, I have previously also discussed that it is cascading style sheets. In next sessions, we will be covering that JavaScripting and CSS in details. HTML means that even novice, novice uh, programmers can code easily. So the new programmers which are very new in this field, in this field of uh, web technology, then HTML is very, very easy for them also. HTML also allows the use of templates, making it easier to design web pages. Downloads are fast because the text is compressible. So as the text is compressible in nature, so it makes the downloads very fast. Very useful for web design beginners. So beginners find it very interesting and very useful as it is very easy to use. Then web design beginners also find it very, very useful. HTML can be supported by any, if not all, by most of the browsers. And HTML is embedded in almost all, if not all the websites are also embedded with the HTML pages or HTML. Now we will be looking forward towards HTML page structure. The basic structure of an HTML page is described below. It uh, contains the basic building block elements that is doc type declaration, HTML, then head, title and body elements that all web pages are built on. So HTML basic structure will be doc type declaration which we have previously also discussed then HTML, then head, title, then other body elements that all web pages are built on these particular elements. These are the building blocks. So here we are having some HTML page structure. HTML page structure, here we have uh, doc type HTML, then this tells the version of the HTML, which version which we are using, then HTML tag, HTML root element, then uh, after that we have head, then used to contain page HTML metadata about the, the metadata is basically data about data. So uh, HTML page uh, is having some data, then it is, uh, it is covering under this HTML metadata. Then title, uh, we are having page title over here and the title of HTML page is be uh, it will be covering by the title tag and here we are having this page title and then title tag is closed again then head head is closed again then body body holds the content of html what this html will be containing it will be uh, it is hold by the body tag so body is having another h2 heading content and then h2 tag is closed here html heading tag now under heading we are having paragraph tag. So this HTML paragraph tag is represented by angular bracket then P, P for the paragraph content or paragraph tag and then uh, it is closed. So angular brackets we are having the paragraph content and if we are putting the forward slash which we have previously also discussed that this paragraph tag is closed again. Now body tag is closed by forward slash and body under the angular brackets. And then finally, we are having this root element HTML is closed again. So this is basically HTML page structure. Now, the topic which we'll be covering is HTML DOM. So DOM is document object model is a programming interface for HTML. Hypertext markup language, it is the abbreviation of HTML and XML, extensible markup language, markup language documents. So it is the interface for HTML documents as well as XML documents. It defines the logical structure of the document and how the document is accessed and edited. This will be, this is the main feature of HTML DOM. Now DOM is a way to display web pages in a structured and hierarchical way so that programmers and users can more easily navigate through documents. So its basic function is to make the navigation through the pages uh, very, very easy. Using the DOM, you can easily access and manipulate tags, IDs, classes, attributes or HTML elements. 
using commands or methods provided by the document object. So the second main benefits of the DOM that we can easily access and manipulate tags, IDs, classes, attributes or HTML elements. So JavaScript can also use the DOM to access the HTML and CSS of a web page and add behavior to HTML elements. So the document object model is basically an API for rendering and interacting with HTML or XML documents. Here the third main advantage is that it is basically an API for rendering and inter interacting with HTML or XML documents. So it is uh, the HTML DOM uh, besides the, uh, the, the basic behavior it is also used as an API for the interaction between HTML and XML documents. HTML is used to structure web pages and JavaScript is used to add behavior to the web pages. So here it is very very clear that HTML is basically used for the web pages structuring and whenever it comes to add behavior to, the web, to, 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 to these web pages we are using JavaScript. So JavaScript cannot directly understand the HTML document once the HTML file is loaded in the browser. A corresponding document is created DOM. DOM is basically a representation of the same HTML document but in a different format using objects. JavaScript simply interprets the DOM. In other words, JavaScript does not understand tags in HTML documents but it does understand H1 objects in the DOM. So JavaScript can now access each object H1, P, etc. that is headings and paragraphs etc. using different functions. Here we are having HTML DOM. So suppose we are having table then rows in this hierarchy then TR is rows table rows and td is the table data. So under table rows we are having table data which is represented by td and then td is for bike for example td uh, is for aeroplane, airplane and it is uh, data for table data is for truck and table data is for bus. So this figure the basically represents HTML DOM example. So here in HTML DOM we are having a structure document object model which is used under the HTML. So this example we are having table then it contains rows, it contains the, uh, various rows and various rows contains various data and data is specifically for the bike, airplane, truck, bus etc. Here the learning outcomes of this particular session. After this session learners can have basic understanding of HTML. He or she has the HTML generations knowledge, the benefits of HTML, HTML page structure and HTML DOM document object model. So I hope that this session will be very useful for you and new learners can have basic idea about the HTML, its generations, its benefits and how the page structure is designed for HTML and what are the document object model for HTML. In next session, we will be covering about link, hyperlinks and links to the images. So thank you for uh, now.